Hi, I'm Mark from easylawnmowing.co.uk and this is the Greenworks 41cm 40V cordless lawnmower. In this video, you're going to learn all about its features and functions and we're going to test it out on my lawn here and see how well it performs. By the end of this video review, you'll know whether this is the right cordless lawnmower for you and your lawn. Okay, so before we take a closer look at this Greenworks 40 volt, 41 centimeter cordless lawnmower, we need to get it unboxed. So let's do that now. Let's see what comes in the package and then we'll go ahead and assemble the mower and see how easy that is as well. So our Greenworks uh, mower is unboxed. So what do you actually get supplied in the box? So naturally it depends on the version of this mower that you purchase. And I'll be explaining a little bit about that later, the different uh, configurations you can get. So this model is the G40 LM 41K2X. Okay, so what that actually means is that um, I've got the two amp hour batteries, the 40, 40 volt two amp hour batteries and the X in the model number signifies that I've got two. So I've gone for two batteries here uh, because each one of these batteries is gonna give you around a 15 minute run time uh, and that's gonna cover around 250 meters squared. So I've got a 500 meter squared lawn here or just under. So I'm go going to need these two batteries to cover my entire lawn. So that's why I've gone from this, this model. And I'll be explaining a little bit about the other options uh, later in this video. So in terms of the charger, so you get a charger, this is just a standard charger. So I've just charged these batteries and they took around 90 minutes each to charge on this standard charger. There is a fast charger available, which reduces that down to just 30 minutes. So if fast charging is important to you, Again, there's a different model that comes with a fast charger. Again, I'll explain that a little bit later. So it looks like here we've got a European uh, plug uh, connector here and also a UK. You've got your user manual. Naturally, you've got the, the mower itself, the 41 centimeter or 16 inch model, That's 16 inches, 41 centimeter deck or cutting width. And also we've got this grass catcher bag, which is 50 liters. Okay, so that's what you get supplied with this particular package. So now let's get this assembled. I can see that there's no bag of screws or anything like that. So they're all already attached to the mower itself. Um, so what we'll do now is we'll get this assembled, see how easy that is. And then we'll take, we'll discuss a little bit more about the specification and then we'll, we'll take it out and test it on my lawn. Okay, so the assembly of the Greenworks mower is uh, fairly straightforward. It's pretty similar to any lawn mower uh, of this type. So the first thing is to get the lower handles secured. So I'm just going to take the upper handles off. And then the upper handles need to go on. So what we need to do first is just remove these quick release levers. And then you have two options. So you have two holes here. So depending whether you want it slightly shorter length or longer length. So I'm going to do it on the shorter length. So it would be nice to always have an extra pair of hands when you're doing these mowers, but you can do it by yourself. And they just do up enough to allow the clamp to lock tight. So just do that a little bit more, a little bit more. So you just want a nice firm click. I'm just going to do the same on the other side. That one's a little bit tight, so I'm just going to loosen that off. Still a little bit tight. And there we go. That's locked in, uh, and that's basically the handlebars done. So all we need to do now is just tidy up this loose cable here. So there is a cable tidy clip on the bars and you just simply 
clip that under and that makes sure that that's not going to get uh, in the way, uh, particularly when folding the handle. So you've actually got two. So you've got one here on the upper bit. So, and then one on this bit here. That's pretty much it in terms of the assembly of the mower. So really super simple, really easy, and it's really got a good solid feel to it. Um, so all we need to do now is get the batteries in and then I'll talk a little bit about the specification uh, of this mower. So actually there is no assembly on the grass collection box, unlike other mowers. This is already clipped in. This is already uh, to go, already just to sit on top of your mower like so. So there's no assembly on the grass collection bag. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the specification. So now we've got our Greenworks lawnmower assembled, I just want to go over the specifications and the features of this particular model. So if we start at the top here, you can see we've got really, really good padded handles. That's really thick. That's a lot thicker than some of the mowers that I've tested. I really like the bar, the sort of uh, petrol lawnmower bar that runs across. Why is that good? It's good because you can operate the mower from anywhere on the handles. So if I'm going around a left or right hand turn, I've always got something to keep the mower going, which is something I really like to see on a mower. So working our way down, handles, they do fold. So they fold at this midpoint here using quick release levers, and they also fold at the deck point as well with these quick release levers. So some mowers will fold here, but not here. Greenworks have included a quick release down here on the deck, so that's a really good feature. So one thing I noticed as soon as I opened the box is there's no lever here to adjust the height like you do on many of the lawnmowers. So what you have is a button on the handle here. So this is a, a carry handle. You have a button that you press to adjust the height. So I've only seen this on the Bosch Advanced Rotac models. So we're gonna see how well that works when we test it out on the lawn, just to make sure that the heights are not jumping when we hit any bumps or anything like that. So to adjust the height, you simply press the button like so, and then you can just lift the mower up and down to adjust any of the six heights. So in terms of heights, this ranges from 25 millimeters to 80 millimeters. So that's a really good range. That's a quite a low cut, the 25, which a lot of people do like, but you also have that option of the 80 mil cut. So if you've got really long grass, put it on the 80, you get that nice height, you can take the top off of it and then you can go down and work your way down lower. So that 80 height is really good. That's something I've not seen on many of the mowers that I've tested. So that's, that's a really good feature. So in terms of the grass collection bag, you've got um, an all cloth collection bag. Why is that good? Well, it has its pros and cons really. The reason that is good is because of the circulation. So you get a really good circulation with an all cloth bag because the air can flow and the pickup is really good when you have good circulation. So it's hopefully gonna pick up all of the grass cuttings, but again, we're gonna test that later. The only thing I noticed missing on the grass collection bag because it's a bag is a flap. So there's no flap to tell you when the grass bag is full. So also this is a three in one mower so it has three different cutting options so you can cut and collect into the bag you can also rear discharge with this mower but you can also mulch with this mower so mulching is really really good feature of a mower and it comes supplied with the mulching plug so the murray mowers for example this is an optional extra you have to go out and purchase this separately uh, but greenworks have included it with this mower so if you'd like to learn more about mulching and the benefits of mulching then head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website and there's an article there that explains why mulching is so good for your lawn there's a link in the description below this video so if we have a quick look under the mower before we discuss the batteries just so that we can see what we've got here I'm just going to tip that over. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a 41 centimetre deck. So it has a 41 centimetre cutting width or around 16 inches. You've got a blade here, which is a mulching blade. So it will lift the cuttings uh, and it will, if you have the mulching plug in, it will cut the, the grass multiple, multiple times into small pieces and then deposit them back into the lawn. So that's a really nice feature. I can see here that we've got grass combs on the edge here. And what these do is they pull the grass into the path of the blade. So this should cut well close to the edge. But again, we're gonna test that. We're gonna run this up against the edge. We're gonna see how well this goes up to the edge. Uh, and you can see here that the wheels are inset as well. So they're not gonna stop you getting up to the edge and hopefully the deck will go nice and close. Also, what I've noticed here is the larger rear wheels. 
I do like mowers that have larger rear wheels. The stability is good. The maneuverability is much better. Um, so that's a really good feature. In terms of build quality, you have a double skin here, which is nice to see on some of the cheaper models. This will be single and you're, like, you're able to bend this. With this model, you're not. So the build quality looks uh, good to me. It feels good. Um, it's not a steel deck. If you want a steel deck, then there are other options available. But all in all, your first impressions of this green works look really, really good. So let's talk just briefly about the batteries and the power that you're getting with this cordless lawnmower because that's the all important thing. How much is this going to cut? How much uh, square meterage is this lawn going to cover? So as I mentioned earlier, I have around 500 square meter lawn in the back here, um, maybe a little bit less, but this is designed for 500 square meters with the two batteries. So what Greenworks are saying is these are two amp hour batteries. So each two amp hour batteries is gonna give you around a 15 minute runtime and that should cover around 250 square meters. So combined with the two batteries, I'm hoping to get 500 square meters out of one charge of these two batteries. But again, this is a real world test. We're gonna test it on my lawn uh, and we're gonna see whether that is actually the case. So that's a really good um, option there. And the other thing with these batteries is that they are power share. So what that means is with any other 40 volt tool, you can use these batteries. So that could be a hedge trimmer, a grass trimmer, uh, anything like that, any garden tools that use the 40 volt range, this battery can be shared with those tools. So why is that a good thing? Well, that's a good thing because if you already have these batteries in a charger, there's an option to purchase this lawnmower as a bare tool. So what that means is you don't get any batteries with it, you don't get any charger with it. You simply use the battery and the charger that you already have. So as I mentioned earlier, there are different options. So you can purchase this mower with a single battery, a single two amp hour battery. There's also a four amp hour option available as well. Uh, and there's also a option to purchase two batteries with a fast charger, which as I mentioned, reduces your charge time down to just 30 minutes. So if that's important to you in terms of how quickly you can charge the batteries, I would then go for that option. So. It might all sound a bit confusing in the different models. I think there's about five different models of this 41 centimeter. So head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website and there's a comparison table there that shows you exactly what you get with each model. Again, there's a link in the description below this video. Okay, so we've come out onto the lawn now to see, to do some testing of this Greenworks uh, cordless lawnmower. So what are we actually going to do? So naturally we're going to cut the lawn. We're going to see how well it cuts. Uh, is it a precise cut uh, and how well it does there? But there are some other tests that we're going to do. So the lawn, I would say, is around 10 centimetres in length. There are patches which are longer. Uh, and I'm going to probably cut on setting number three, which is around 45 mil, so about 4.5 centimetres I'm going to cut at. I know that's a little bit much taken off in one go, but we need to, to do that to test this mower to see how well the battery stands up. Also, what we're going to do is at the end of the garden, I've got uh, 20 centimetre grass. So I've let that grow really, really long. So what we'll do is we'll put this on the highest setting and we'll cut into that grass just to see how well this motor stands up in this battery, this 40 volt battery stands up with much tougher conditions. There's also another test we're going to do, we're going to test the mulching. So we get the mulching plug in and we're going to see how well it mulches. And also what we're going to do is when the grass bag is full, we're going to bounce the mower around. We're going to make sure that that grass box doesn't fall off because there are some mowers that I've tested in the past where you hit a bump, the grass box continuously is falling off. So we're going to make sure that doesn't happen with this Greenworks. We're also going to test the height settings. So what we're going to do there, again, we're going to bounce the mower. We're going to put it on its highest setting. We're going to bounce the mower around and we're going to make sure that those height settings are locked in because again, I've tested some mowers. You hit a bump, the, the height adjustment jumps out. It goes down to the lowest setting and it scalps your lawn. So that's pretty much the testing that we're going to do. Oh, and also, sorry, we're going to test the cut to edge as well. So we're really going to put this green works for its paces. Uh, so by the end of this review, you know whether this is going to be a good purchase or not. OK, so I've got the two batteries fully charged. I've got one battery in and I've got the safety key in. We've got around 500 square meters, which is what this mower is designed to cut. So let's see whether that battery holds up for the entire 500 square meters. Well, actually the two batteries. So I'm expecting to ch have to change this battery halfway through. But again, this is a real world test and we're gonna try it and we're gonna see how well it performs.
Okay, so I've just gone up and down four times now and I'm really super impressed with this Greenworks. It's done a fantastic job, uh, as you can see. So really I am cutting quite a lot off in one go, which is not advisable, but it is really just to test this mower, its runtime, its power and how uh, precise cut it is. So in terms of the cut, it's done a really, really good cut. I hope you can see that there from the video. Also, in terms of picking up the cuttings, it's done exceptionally well. I mean, it hasn't left anything on the grass whatsoever. And that's just from four uh, runs up and down the lawn. And that is all to do with this grass um, collection bag. So the circulation is really good and it's picking up really well. So, so far, so good. So let's carry on cutting the lawn. I'm going to get this grass box absolutely full to the brim and then we're going to do the bounce test. We're going to check to make sure that this doesn't bounce off when it's full. Okay, so we've now got a completely full grass collection bag. So I'm just going to test it. So just to show you actually, uh, so you can see there that weighs quite a bit so what I'm going to do is just hook that back on uh, and what I'm going to do now is just shake the mower as if it was going over a bump just to make sure that this grass catcher bag doesn't uh, fall off so let's try that now so you can see there that that's not going to happen as it does do with some other uh, brands that I've tested so that's really good now let's check the height setting so what I'm going to do is put that up to the highest setting number six lock that in and again if we hit a bump you can see there that we're still on number six so there's no risk there of you going over a bump the height drop in and uh, it's scalping your lawn so the green works this 41 centimeter has passed both those tests so what we're so going to do, gonna now? do now is we're going to test the rear discharge and the mulching so what i'm going to do is i'll do the rear discharge first so that's just basically a case of removing the grass collection bag like so and you'll see there that the the flap at the back actually has a gap underneath to allow the grass to come out of the back okay so i'm going to do one run uh, with the rear discharge so let's see how well that performs Okay, so that's our rear discharge and our mulching test done. So I hope you could see there, the rear discharge worked really, really well. No problems there. Uh, and you could actually see the clumps of grass being uh, ejected out of the back of the mower and left on the lawn. I also hope that you could see from that video the difference when I put the mulching plug in. So mulching is about taking the grass cuttings, spinning them multiple times around the deck and cutting them into finer pieces. So you could barely see the grass coming out of the mower when we had the mulching plug on. So that shows that this is really doing a good job of cutting those grass cuttings really fine. They're gonna be deposited back onto the lawn and they're gonna provide nutrients and moisture to the grass. So both these tests have performed really, really well with this Greenworks. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take it over to the really long bit of lawn that I have at the end of the garden and we're gonna see how well this performs when the going gets really tough. Okay, so we've come to the end of my lawn where the long grass is. I've already done one pass on the highest setting uh, on the six, on number six, and it dealt with it absolutely no problem. So what I thought is we will drop it down to number four because I do feel that this Greenworks can cope with it. And the grass is also damp. So we've had a dew on the grass uh, this morning. So the grass is quite damp as well. So this is gonna be a re real good test. So I've got the setting on number four. We've got some really, really long grass and we're gonna see how well uh, this green works copes with the longer grass okay so let's go ahead and do that now
Okay, so I hope you could see there how well this green works cut the longer grass, absolutely no problems. I was even confident enough to take it down uh, to setting four and it, it had no problems cutting that longer grass. So what we're gonna do now is just do the last test, which is to cut to edge to see how well it cuts to the edge. So I've got a bit of board down here uh, and we're gonna go up to the edge and see how much it actually takes off. Okay, so let's do that now. Okay, so I hope you could see there how well this green works 41 centimeter 40 volt cordless lawnmower did at cutting my lawn. It did an absolute fantastic job. It passed all of the tests as you can see there in the video uh, that we put it through. So really, really impressed. And I can see why this mower is one of the best sellers and also why we recommend it so strongly on the easylawnmowing.co.uk website because it's great value for money and for medium sized lawns, then this is ideal. So in terms of the pros and cons, so with all my reviews, I always give you the pros and cons. I always tell you who this mower is best suited to. So let's get the cons out of the way. So I did really struggle to find any negatives with this mower, but there are a few points that you need to be aware of. So the first is that it doesn't come with a rear roller. So if you want a stripy lawn, then this isn't going to be the lawn mower for you. You may want to consider the Lawnmaster 41 centimeter. I'll put a link to uh, a video review of that Lawnmaster that will be in the description uh, below. Uh, the other slight negative is the fact that it um, only comes with a single charger. So there's only a single charger with those two batteries and the battery is a, the, the, sorry, the charger is a standard charger. So it takes 90 minutes to charge each battery. There is the option of purchasing a fast charger or this kit with a fast charger um, and that will charge the battery, as I mentioned earlier, in just 30 minutes. So, okay, so the only other slight negative is the fact that you can't see how much charge you have remaining in your battery whilst you're mowing. So some mowers, they have a button on the handle here that you can press and you can see how much charge is in the battery. Uh, you can't do that with this green work. So that's really just the negative points of this mower to be aware of. So what are you getting with this mower? So you're getting a really fantastic build. Uh, with this with this green works i'm really impressed with the the build quality of it also how the height adjusts so you don't have the traditional lever like you do with other lawn mowers you have this button on the on this uh, carry handle here that you simply push and it's very very simple to adjust the the height of the mower so really really impressed with that as i said the 50 liter grass collection bag and one thing i will say about this green works is it picks up exceptionally well. It picks up the cuttings exceptionally well. I would say this is probably the best lawnmower that I've tested at picking up the cuttings. And that is due down to this mesh grass collection bag. It's all mesh, there's no plastic on there. The slight negative for that is there's no grass flap on there, uh, grass fall flap on there. However, I, I would rather have a lawnmower that picks up the grass cuttings like this Greenworks does. So really, really super impressed with that as well the cut to edge performed well it performed well on the longer grass as well the mulching is a fantastic feature to have so remember this is three in one you're getting the cut and collect the mulching and the rear discharge so you can cut the way you want and with that great range of cutting heights as well uh, you can cut you can you can cut at any season how you want your grass to be so you're also see. getting slightly larger rear wheels on this green works so i always like to see that on a lawnmower because it makes the maneuverability and turning corners that much easier in terms of the warranty you're going to get a three-year warranty with this green works that's on the mower itself the charger and a two-year warranty on the batteries so very very impressed with the the warranty that you get with this green works so as I mentioned earlier, if you're a little bit confused about the models that are available with this 41 centimeter deck, then head on over to the easylawnmowing.co.uk website 
There's a comparison table there that clearly shows you the differences between the different packages, what you're getting in terms of runtime, the batteries supplied, the charger supplied, and so on. So it really will help you to make a decision as to which is the best mower for your lawn and for your circumstances. So I really do hope that you found this review useful. If you did, could I please ask that you click that thumbs up button below this video, it'd be much appreciated. And why not subscribe to my channel as well so that you get notifications when I release any future videos. You will need to click the bell in order for that to happen. If you have any questions regarding this lawnmower or any questions about any lawnmower, then please put it in the comments box below this video. There's a full review of this Greenworks 41 centimeter 40 volt cordless lawnmower over on the easylawnmowing.co.uk website, along with lots of helpful articles and other reviews and comparisons with other lawnmowers. So why not head over there and check that out. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.